What's the difference between good soil and not so good soil? Hi, I'm Darren Hefty. If you asked any farmer or gardener where their best soil is, it's a pretty safe bet they could take you right to it. That's where the best crops are almost always grown. But what makes the good soil good and the lesser soils not so good? There can be big differences in soil texture from sandy soil to heavy clay soils. There can also be drainage issues based on elevation and slope. The biggest differences may not be the things you necessarily see, though. Nutrient balance is very critical in soils. Two key nutrients to look at are calcium and magnesium. One of the tests commonly used by soils labs to determine your current nutrient balance is called a base saturation test. Depending on the type of soil you're in, you'd like to see at least 65% calcium and 12% magnesium. Too much or too little of either of these can cause problems. While there's a lot to focus on in soils, the little things like calcium and magnesium can make good soils great. With today's Ag Minute, I'm Darren Hefty.